Hi everybody, it's me, Alex, better known as IB Crazy, and this is the ultimate multi-rotor tune. And somebody once told me that tuning PIDs is all about knowing what to look for. Well, unless you got a whole lot of experience tuning vehicles, it's kind of hard to know exactly what to look for. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this Y6 outside, and then I'm going to overtune and undertune but one category at a time. I'm gonna start with the P, the proportional, then move on to the I, the integral, and then the D, which is the derivative. Each will have a different effect on the aircraft. Of course, undertuning means this vehicle is going to be very sloppy. Overtuning means the vehicle is going to oscillate, but they're gonna do this at different rates and different speeds depending on which value is improperly tuned. Now, I want you to do one more thing other than just watch what's on the screen. I want you to listen to these motors because that's another hint about what's happening. You'll notice the oscillations change with throttle input and you'll also hear the motors over rev when it begins to oscillate. So pay attention to that. But it really doesn't matter what vehicle it is. They all follow the same rhetoric. Whether it's a tricopter, a quadcopter, or a hex Y6, or even an octo, tuning follows the same procedure and they all seem similar. So with that, why don't we step outside and take this for a few flights and show you what to look for. All right, for this example, I turned the P gain too low, way too low in fact. Notice how the vehicle is very, very sloppy. Yes, it's oscillating and that's because the I gain is correcting it. But just notice how it's very hard to keep the aircraft at any angle, at least for any extended period of time. This is what P gain being far too low looks like. In this example, my P gain is 0 0.02. What I found the perfect tune was 0.11, so I'm quite a bit off. In this example, my P gain is turned too high. Notice how it does very fast oscillations. Listen carefully to the sound the motors are making as they're rapidly accelerating and then nearly shutting completely off. However, you'll notice one other thing. The aircraft is perfectly in control despite the oscillations of being out of tune. And thus, when tuning P gain, it's okay to go too high so long as you back it down until you get it right. In this example, I have the eye gain too low, but this time I'm using pitch as it's much easier to see in the camera. Notice how the vehicle just refuses to stay on track. It just is extremely sloppy. When it stops and stays on, it's on, but watch when I accelerate here. Notice that it pitches over wildly and will not stay on target. Here's another example of the doing that. Notice, I just can't keep it going straight, and it's almost wildly out of control. I also find it loses angle when I yaw. This is excessively low. In this example, I have the roll I gain too high. I move back to the roll because this one's very easy to see in the roll. If you notice, the vehicle is oscillating, but unlike the P gain, the oscillations are very large and significantly slower. In fact, the only thing that's saving this vehicle from oscillating out and crashing is the fact that my D gain is set high enough to keep it from overdoing it. Obviously, the correction for this is to turn the I gain down. However, we can also turn the D gain up and gain a little bit more control of this until the vehicle seems to over respond to controls. At that point, we definitely need to turn the I gain down. In this example, I have the roll D gain too low, but I turned the I gain back down to where it should be. Notice the vehicle is still oscillating, but not nearly as bad. So when I turn, I'm only getting one oscillation and then it stops, but the oscillations are a little, well, excessive. So in this case, it looks, looks like the only thing I should do here is probably just turn my D gain up. You can see my vehicle is just about tuned in here. I say just about because there is a little bit of mistune, but notice how much more solid the vehicle feels now that my gains are pretty close. Now, one of the gains, either the P or the I or the D, 
is not tuned right in two of the axes. One of the axes is too high, the other axis is too low. So which gain is it? Is it the P gain, the I gain, or the D gain? And is it roll, pitch, or yaw that's out of tune? Please comment in the description below and I'll let you know whether or not you got it. I'll give you a bit of a hint to help you out. The undertune you can see in the camera, the overtune you can only hear in the audio. If you can get this, consider yourself a tuning master. I'm Ivy Crazy, and keep them flying.